Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to convert FAT32 into NTFS without losing any of your data. And if you guys don't know what FAT32 is and NTFS, I'll go ahead and explain it. All in all, there's there are partition and drives that are kept in formats as by your computer. Basically, there are three types of file system, which is a disk, a network, and the special purpose. FAT32, which is considered file alkylation table, and NTFS, which is called new technology file system, are the sub part of the disk file system. NTFS was introduced with the launching of Windows XP in the computer world. The main difference between FAT32 and NTFS file system is I would say that FAT32 creates 16 sectors and uh, so far the file size is 18. FAT32 creates 2 sectors, 16 and 2, whereas NTFS file system creates only 5 sectors, 4, 4, 4, 4 and 2. And generally, NTFS system is preferred to be the best file system. So that being said, back on the point, below is a small tweak that I will be showing you guys in a bit inside Windows desktop interface and I will go ahead and show you easily how to convert FAT32 partitions into NTFS. So back on to the NTFS conversion. So on your desktop what you're gonna want to go ahead and do is just type on either the search bar at the bottom left or on your keyboard press the Windows key. You want to go ahead and type in CMD, hit return and go ahead and type in check disk like that then press G semicolon forward slash F and then hit return that'll automatically fix any errors on the disk next what you want to do and before I show you this I'm gonna go ahead and show you again the drive that I have set up which is fat 32 and I'm gonna go ahead and convert it to NTFS and this is all the while I have items in there so next, what you're going to want to go ahead and do is type in convert, like so, G, and then space, forward slash, F, S, semicolon, N, T, F, S. And it'll go ahead and format it right now. All right, so it is converting right now. If it asks you, just press yes. Usually it doesn't. It may take a minute, so just give it some time. And once it does, it may or may not give you an error. So what you want to do is just go ahead and disregard the error and go ahead and search back into your file like so. It'll go ahead and give you an error. Um, exit that by pressing exit and then go to your drive and then right click on it, go to properties. And then you can see that it's NTFS. And when I go into the folder, all my folders and items are still there unmoved saving me about five minutes depending on how big of a file transfer that you need it's going to take about anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes to an hour give or take so basically I just saved you about uh, that amount of time so if you guys enjoyed this video if you guys found this helpful go ahead and thumbs up go ahead and subscribe and go ahead and share this on Facebook Twitter or Google Plus so others can go ahead and take a look at this and take advantage of the command line. As always, this is Flippin' Windows, and stay tuned for another tutorial. Alright, take care, guys.